She is a beast. Chance together for Miss Jessica Alanis. Did y'all expect the beast to be this little? You're like, wait, that's teeny up there. I'm one of the two Mexicans, I know. Shocking. It's, I, yeah, I can see on your faces, you're like, I thought that was a white girl. It's not, not, not the case. Dude, today's been weird. Someone outside was like, hey, you look like you babysit. I was like, that is an interesting way to say unemployed. That is like, I didn't, what, a, what a word, wow. I am unemployed, though, so he wasn't wrong. I was like, buy a lottery ticket, sir. That is on point there. I am unemployed, and I don't mind being unemployed. I just hate that nobody cares. <laughs> nobody feels bad for me about it. I told my friends, I was like, oh, I got laid off today. And they were like, well, you hated that job. And I was like, but babe, I hated that job the same way married women hate their husbands, okay? Like, yes, I'm going to cry and bitch and complain about it, but I wasn't gonna leave, you know? I wasn't gonna quit. I need, I need dinner, I need dinner. I had one friend too who was like, you know what, Jessica? You're the most resilient person I know. You'll be okay. She said resilient, but I heard, Jessica, you've been laid off, cheated on, and basically thrown away a lot in life. You'll be fine. I was like, this bitch, what? So rude, the disrespect, you know? Did you ever do that in your head? Like when people call me independent, I'm like, that is the rudest thing you could say to me. Don't call me independent. I want to be dependent on somebody. I was like, I'll call my mom right now and cry. Don't, go, don't tell me that. No, people wonder, they're like, well, what are you going to do for money? How are you going to make money? And I've got it figured out. Uh, I'm going to start getting residuals like actors do from all the guys that I've dated. <laughs> like, if you've seen me naked and thought about it after, <laughs> pay me, okay? Like, I deserve something, right? Like, imagine the nudes I sent people who still have it in their phone. Like, they don't have to delete it. Just send me a monthly Venmo. That'd be amazing. Like a little residual, you know what I mean? Like something, that'd be great. It'd be fantastic. I always love seeing the women who are like, yes. And the men who are like, that would be an expensive monthly bill I'd have to be paying right now. My God. Oh, no. I don't know. I, uh, people are like, you would send nudes. Like, why would you do that? And because I get it. I get it. Some people don't like to do that because they have dads and that makes sense for them. Because they're like, Jessica, what if it ends up online and then you can never do things like run for political office? And I'm like, babe, I have an arrest record and a punch card to Planned Parenthood, dude. Like, <laughs> that's not the thing that's going to take me out. Are you kidding me? And they're like, well, what if he shows everybody? What if he passes it around? I'm like, I'm single and I'm unemployed, okay? Like, consider it a business card, okay? <laughs> I need clients. I work off referrals. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I am single too. I know there was a couple people who like nervously raised their hand for that. Um, I am single and I, I genuinely want to be in a relationship. I really do because I want a husband, kids, divorce. Like I want the whole <laughs> package. I want it all. I do. But I know I have trust issues. I do. I have trust issues because I had a friend. It's a story about me. I had a friend <laughs> who dated a guy for four years. It's still me. Four years. He cheated on her got the other girl pregnant, and then broke up with me. I mean, my friend, you know? <laughs> like, that's tough. Like, how can you trust somebody? And it was at the beginning of the pandemic, too, you know, when they were like, everybody stay safe. He was like, I don't like condoms. No, thank you. No. You know, they were like, do not come outside. He was like, I only come inside other women. That's all. <laughs> that's all I got. I know. It's tough. It was never going to work out, though. Like, I'm a Libra. He's a cheater. Like, it was never, never going to be a thing, you know? I also don't like the advice people give. Like, my mom likes to give me dating advice. She'll say things like, you know what, Jessica, maybe go back to church. Maybe I'll meet someone there. And I grew up Catholic, so I will go to church on holy days of obligation, right? So, you know, you know them, Christmas, Easter, when you're late for your period. Those are the days I'm going to pray, you know? All right, you guys have been fantastic. Keep it going for yourselves, for Stacey. I'm Jessica Alanis. Have a good night.